two, truth and reconciliation and calls to action speak to fully adopt, implement, and enact the UN Declaration of the Rights of Indigenous Peoples as the framework for reconciliation. Four UNDRIP articles speak to Bell Island's protection for the next seven generations, to our right to protect, maintain, have access, use of, and privacy, and strengthen our spiritual relationship with our sacred sites, whether they are traditionally owned, occupied, or used lands and waters. In 1990, the city disturbed seven ancestors, three men, three little ones, and a mother, youngest 700 and the eldest over a thousand years old. This wasn't the first or last desecration. 1100 years ago, Bell Island was a hunting and fishing camp. A knowledge keeper spoke history of a meeting place, an island that resembled a turtle. It has been a meeting place for the surrounding nations for thousands of years. It has been left open to desecration for far too long. Knowing the enduring and past desecration, seeing the golf course's abandoned fourth hole with its two golf cart bridges, acting as caretakers tear down a tent used for cooking meth, have distilled into understanding. Bridges built from ignorance and privilege need to be deconstructed so another type of bridge can be constructed. One rooted in reconciliation and respect for the answers is burial ground. Give Bell Island the protections of a UN sacred site. Help us honor the ancestors' burial grounds. 2018 is the year reconciliation turns into reconciliation.